guys, it's Dev and Kat from Two Market Girls. Today, Catherine is going to be showing me and you guys how to make some chocolate? <laughs> yes, chocolate. <laughs> no, some Halloween treats. We're doing a play on peanut butter cups, except we're going to do a filling of almond butter and pumpkin with some pumpkin spice in there. Uh, it's really easy, it's like two different components to it, and there's only one, two, three, four, five, six ingredients, seven ingredients. <laughs> um, so really, the only components to it are icing sugar or powdered sugar. Don't really know how you guys know it by. Uh, smooth almond butter. Pumpkin puree. You can also get the pumpkin pie puree with the spices already in it. I don't like to do that, but... You can. Okay. That way, if you get the pumpkin pie spice, you don't need extra spices. I'm just putting cinnamon and nutmeg in this because they're going to be super small and I don't want them to be too overwhelming. Fair enough. And vanilla extract and some dark chocolate. Now, not all dark chocolate is vegan. Make sure to get vegan dark chocolate. Read your ingredients. All right, guys. So first, we're going to add some pumpkin puree into it. About a quarter cup, do a quarter cup of almond butter, about a quarter cup of the icing sugar, and then we're gonna add like a half teaspoon of vanilla, a pinch of cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg, and then we're just gonna mix it up. And then once that's all mixed up, we're just gonna set that aside, and now we have to melt chocolate. So you can melt chocolate however you prefer. I like to put boiling water in a pan and then a bowl over top. It's kind of the easiest way with the tools that I have at least. So we're going to get any kind of dish that you want. I'm using something that's going to fit in my fridge right now because my fridge is really packed. <laughs> but we're using basic cupcake liners um, and we're just going to use that as the mold for our peanut butter cups. So just set those out. You can do this part. Yeah. And the chocolate's all melted so once they're set out we can start forming the chocolate. So using these is how you get like those ridges around? Exactly. So it looks just like yeah. a normal yeah so you're just gonna scoop up the chocolate and then pour it all in the bottom of it so make sure it spreads out a bunch make sure it spreads out over the whole thing and add a little bit more depending on how thick you want your bottom to be i don't think it should be too thick you don't want to be too chocolatey so it's not gonna like melt through the paper because it's so hot i hope not so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do the bottom and then we're gonna set them in the fridge to cool down a bit so that we can put the pumpkin and the almond butter right to like make two layers. Yeah, so that it doesn't fall right through the melted chocolate. So, after 10 or so minutes in the fridge, or freezer, we ended up putting them in the freezer just to speed the process along a little bit. Yeah, no. So we're just gonna get our filling and not too much because you don't want, like, you know peanut butter cups, there's not a lot in there. Yeah, but you want it to be balanced with the chocolate and yeah. the filling. Like so. it's already an intense flavor, you don't need too much. So everyone I'm sure has had a peanut butter cup before, <laughs> about the size of that. <laughs> And then these go back into the fridge or freezer. And then you we'll, just wait till they're done. Yeah, wait until they're solid and then we'll show you the result and you get to eat them. All right, guys. <laughs> we just pulled out our almond pumpkin butter cups. Let's try it. And they look pretty delicious. Try it. Our filling's kind of molded over. I don't know if you can tell. If you don't want that, just put less filling or spread it out a little better. All right, let's do this. Whoa. Oh yeah. 
Oh, they're awesome. I have chocolate everywhere. I think yours is better. Mine's really thick. There's almost too much chocolate. So I might do a thinner layer of chocolate. Aim for pretty, like, as thin the layers as you can kind of go. Especially on the sides, you don't really want too thick, but... Mmm. They're really good. That's so perfect for Halloween. Yeah, it's a nice, like, it's a subtle pumpkin taste. And the almond butter complements it so well. Uh, so, thanks for watching. If you make them, let us know. Hashtag us to Market Girls. We want to see all the results. Um, if you have any other ideas, any different variations of it, tag us too, because that'd be awesome to see. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We have vegan recipes every Sunday and whatever Wednesdays every other Wednesdays, where we do things like taste tests, haul videos, we give tips and advice, that kind of stuff. Pretty much whatever. Whatever. Whatever comes to our minds. Thanks for watching. Bye!